All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's your boy Akeen. Welcome to today's final blog. Here to give you one last blog of a team of the Mountain West Conference for the 2015 college football season. For this preview, I'm going to wrap things up with Wyoming. Now, the Cowboys went 4 and 8 overall last season, and they're going to have to a couple of changes at both quarterback and their top two wide receivers. Their quarterback last year in Kobe on um, Kirk Ground, who's actually no longer with the team, which means Cameron Kaufman is going to have to take over at the helm at quarterback. And the top two wide receivers in Dom Rufferin and Jalen Claiborne, they're no longer with the team as well. So they're going to have to rebuild. But they do have their top two leading rushers returning. And I think this is a pretty good tandem in this Mountain West Conference with Sean White and Brian Hill. Both players have rushed for over 700 yards last season and at least five and a half yards per carry with 13 rushing touchdowns. Now, the offense averaged just 21 points per game. They're definitely going to look to improve this year, but I think they're going to struggle a little bit. Now, their defense, they only they only have one great player on the team, a star player in Eddie Yarbrough, who is a two-time first-team All-Mountain West Conference performer with 61 tackles last season and just four sacks. He is the, the key, um, the, the number one, the only guy, relevant guy in that defensive unit, and most um, teams are definitely going to try to find ways to double double team him and, and use different offensive schemes to, to lure him away from the ball carrier and wherever the ball will be. So the other players around him is definitely going to have to step it up this year and give him some support. Now as far as the top three recruits, they did pick up a wide receiver and Justice Murphy, decent player, and they picked up a safety and D'Amico Doodles, and lastly they picked up a kicker and John Copens. Those are the top three recruits coming out of high school. Now last year they did went four and eight this year I think they're gonna go a little bit worse I have this them going three and nine overall according to their schedule I think there's only a couple of games that I do see them having a chance of winning so I think three games at best I'm um, seriously three games I don't think they're gonna get four wins if they do get four wins I was wrong but I'm I highly doubt they're gonna get four wins this season so I have them going three and nine overall now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be during my Monday overnight, mainly Tuesday morning, in which I will talk about the previews for the Conference USA. Thank you for watching all of today's blogs. I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.